The Grand Corps Band Nails have just released their fourth album, Every Bridge Burning, and it is the first album in eight years. So let's see what they have to offer. Now, full disclosure, I've never listened to this band before, so this video is from the point of view of someone who is both unfamiliar with the band and with the subgenre in general, more or less. All I know is that they sound similar to some bands I have listened to before and are reviewed on this channel, such as Worm Rot and uh, Full of Hell. I'm going to keep this video kind of simple. If you watch my videos, you know I like to have lots of things flashing on the screen. But for this video, I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm just going to throw some text on the screen at the end of the video when I give my final score. And that's it. So this is a short album. It's less than 18 minutes long. The songs are anywhere from 38 seconds to 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Except for the last song, which is 3 more minutes and 14 seconds, the longest song on the album. I'll talk about that later because I felt that was one of the standouts. The music is very intense. If you're a fan of extreme metal, I think you'll really enjoy it. But if you're more of a casual metal fan, it might take a few listens to get into, which isn't that hard, as it's a short album. If I have anything negative to say is that the songs kind of blend into each other, especially if you're listening in the background. But I will say something later how like the, the band likes to divide the songs. But also I recommend listening with headphones. It helps you take everything in that's happening because if you don't pay attention it kind of sounds like noise and I'll explain the intricacies of the songs when I go track by track which is right now so let's get started. The opening track is Imposing Will. It starts out with very intense almost as if there were banging nails with a hammer. That's what it sounds like. The vocals are very intense but then halfway through the song they slow it down so I enjoyed the second half of the song and it was only a little over a minute long. Then they have a one minute song that sounds very intense with feedback and super fast drumming and very uh, angry and brutal vocals. This one went full speed for another minute until the last 10 seconds or so. Now, don't worry. Some of the songs in the middle of the album were a little different. I'll get to that pretty soon. Then I noticed they like to divide the songs with feedback. So that's how you know when one song starts and the other one finishes. Kind of if you listen for the feedback, you know it's going from one to the next. So I thought that aspect was interesting. Next was a title track. It was very uh, aggressive, very brutal. And I guess you can call this one of the longer songs. It was about two minutes long. So there was a break about halfway through the song where they added in some groove to the sound. I actually kind of started to bang my head at this point. But then there's a song called Give Me the Painkiller. This was the second longest song. And I thought it had more of a hardcore sound. It moved very fast. It was very aggressive. I also noticed... Some of the guitar riffs were reminiscent of thrash metal. Then there was a guitar solo that sounded very raw, very motorheadish, if that makes sense. And then there were some isolated bass and some drums, so that was very cool. Now in the middle of the song is a two-minute track called Lacking the Ability to Process Empathy. And that was one of the slower tracks. But by slower, it still means faster than the typical metal band. It, they just took their foot off the accelerator a bit, but in turn, they gave us some heavy crushing and pummeling riffs now don't worry they bring back the speed i'll get to that in a minute or right now because the next song is 38 seconds long and it's just filled with speed and intensity then they go into a one minute song called made up in your mind followed by another one or a one plus minute song called dehumanized both of these songs were very intense very brutal very fast I would say the song Dehumanized was the better one because I thought the drumming was you know, very fast, very intense, and that song had some of the best riffs. There were two more songs left on the album, and remember I was telling you about the last song that was a standout, but let's first talk about the penultimate song called I Can't Turn It Off. It's uh, two minutes and 20 seconds long. I think it had some very cool guitar work. I like the tone of the guitar. It almost had this black metal tone, and... I've seen this band called Crust Punk before, so maybe that's where it comes from. Let me also add that the song has some cool isolated guitar and some drum sections in the song. Now it's time to talk about the last song called No More Rivers to Cross. And why does it stand out? Now, number one, because it's 3 minutes and 14 seconds long. The longest song on the album. And also, number two, they really slow it down so you can appreciate the guitar riffs a little more and you can even understand the vocals a little more. The guitar riffs on the song also have a groove sound in them. There are more of those deep string bands and they experiment more with interesting percussions. 
So I'm going to guitar riffs are also kind of sludgy. So now for my final thoughts, it's a grindcore album. So if you're into grindcore, you'll love the album. And if you're not into music that's this extreme, you may have to ease into it. But it's not hard to do as it's a short album. I probably listened to it maybe four or five times already. And it's the kind of album you listen to. I'd probably recommend doing it like do some kind of exercise like running on a treadmill. You can do uh, some interval training. So it's a good album for that. My score is going to be an 8 out of 10. I think if you're a fan of the genre, you might score higher. But for the average metal fan like myself, it took me a few listens to get into. The album comes out Friday on Nuclear Blast. So let me know if you're looking forward to it or if it's out already, if you've listened to it or if you've listened to the singles. In the meantime, uh, last week I reviewed the new album by Flesh God Apocalypse. I'll stick that one right there. And uh, thanks for watching. So please like this video. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Please subscribe. If you're not already, I do rock and metal reviews, rankings, and classic album reviews. I'll see you in the next one.